what's up mr. socks here and today we're going to be doing the second series second episode in my series called road to dark matter I have one video on it already which is the first SMG the CUDA and I'll leave a link to that down in the description below but today we're going to be covering the second SMG which is the VMP I believe in my opinion that this is one of the best SMGs in the games for many reasons it's got a very fast fire rate which makes it great for close range and medium encounters it's got moderate recoil not great recoil but not none, no recoil so I would recommend using a grip for those long range shots but it's got lots of ammo so if you go into the B flag or the hard point you see multiple enemies you can take them all out with one round or one magazine and for the attachments I recommend using grip because like I said it's got very fast fire rate which makes it very inaccurate because there's very much recoil so use the grip for long range encounters I would also recommend using quick draw so more bullets get down range faster and on target faster. For the last attachment I would recommend is use fast mags if you want to get in and out of buildings faster and then you can get back on the battlefield quicker and get more kills quicker. But I would recommend no sight on this thing because as you can probably tell by now the iron sights are absolutely really absolutely amazing on this weapon and it's got yeah that's basically all I got. The headshots like I said in the other one use concussions and if you stun them, once you stun them, go up next to them and get the easy headshot. Or be looking on, look out for AFK players. Just go up right next to them. Just go get a couple quick shots in, get a headshot. Easy as that. But for the other challenges, 50 attachment, 50 kills, no attachments. Simple. Just go get kills in any game mode you like. And then 50 kills in the optic and five attachments. Again, simple. Just go get kills in any game mode you prefer. And then bloodthirsty. Those are just gonna come over time as you play and progress through the ranks. And then also the revenge medals, those are pretty simple, but I recommend playing a hard point in Dom, like I said in my last episode, because once you get to the B flag, there are going to be enemies. If they kill you, you run back, they're probably still going to be there, because the B flag takes a little while to capture, and hard point doesn't move for every 45 seconds. So that's how I get the revenge medals, and then the double kills, just those are going to come as well. And yeah, this weapon is a beast, you gotta, it gets you around the map fast. You gotta get bolts on accurate, and yeah, that's been it today, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Mr. Socks, out.